Mr. Speaker, sir, we should know better. Senator Nyamu. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I have listened very carefully to the submissions from both sides since the beginning of this matter. Mr. Speaker, the million dollar questions for this house and my colleagues is, does this matter before us meet the threshold for impeachment? And I want to quote I want to quote the guidelines given by the Supreme Court of the threshold of, of uh, conduct of the, um, what the, the MC, the, M, the, the counsel for the county assembly alluded as gross misconduct. Mr. Speaker, is the conduct of the county governor of Meru is it grave? Is it disgusting? Is it heinous? And is it audacious? And all that appertains gross misconduct? The answer is no. Mr. Speaker, we must not, as a house, drown in the murky waters that is Meru politics. We must be very careful that we do not drown as a house in those murky waters. Mr. Speaker, the MCAs of Meru have failed to demonstrate that they can be independent and they can make decisions that are not influenced from outside. And we must not join them. Mr. Speaker, I want to say tonight that the matter before us should not have got here. I do not see how this matter got here because this is pure politics that should be handled at the ground in Meru. I am very saddened, I am very disappointed, and I am not going to be part let it be known by those I am disappointing tonight that I cannot be, as Senator Karen Nyamu, I am not going to be part of ending a young career of the woman governor of Meru simply because she did not take a tea invitation from so-and-so. She does not get along with whoever. We, have, we are experiencing that in Nairobi.